We are looking today at how to create split screen videos by using your iPhone utilizing your iMovie app. The first thing you're going to want to do is to download from your the Google Drive the video that you want to work with. For this case, we're going to look at the articulations of 99%. So I find the video that says 99%. I click the three dots and then right here it says send a copy. By selecting send a copy, you will then download that movie to your photos file and it will be stored there. So in looking at the next step, you would then have the movie that you wanted out of your uh, camera roll and the video you just downloaded from your Google Drive in the same space. The next thing that we're going to want to do is open up iMovie. You're going to create a project and then you're going to select the top one that says movie. By doing that, now we have the files that we want to um, uh, work with. And uh, for me, I had to go down to May 29th and select the file that, um, that, was, that was created. And then I select at the very bottom, Create Movie. At the very bottom, it says Create Movie. This now gives me the, the video that I want to work with. This is the one I downloaded from Google Drive. I then place the cursor near where I want to start, and then I select the plus button of the movie I want to add. So now I go to video, I go to recently added, and I'm going to find the video of myself playing along. So I've selected it, and before I hit the plus button, I want to do the three dots, and I'm going to make split screen the option. So I collect, hit split screen, and then now I have the two videos. And now that you have your video in a split screen format, now the goal is to try to line up the snaps of both videos. That snap is used as a timing device just so that we can line up visually each video, which comes in handy here on the iMovie. Now, you'll notice that the example on the left is snapping before the example on the right. That means we need to move the top example earlier in the timeline. Now, this is a little bit of a guessing game here. You can see that we just got closer, and we can see that the snaps are lining up, but they're one snap off. So we have to just keep guessing here earlier in the timeline to see if the snaps are working. You can see that's close, but it's not going to be close enough. And just with that little bit, I, I moved it away from it. Now you can see we have it early. And that looks pretty close right there. One of the things that you can do is adjust the audio by selecting the clip and then um, selecting what you want it to be on. We'll keep it right about there just so you know you can adjust the audio. Now let's hit play and see where we're at. You can hear a slight deviation. And so the top video is slightly ahead of the bottom video. Again, this goes back to the guessing game. Let's see where we're at. And it looks like we're right on now. Example.
and then your example. And by utilizing the visual aspect of the snaps, you will be able to line up your video with the example video.